hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jimaima this is a rant video in this video i am not going to sound nice at all i have uploaded the first part of this video please if you've not seen it i'll put the link up for you i listed and ranted about eight different things that i am so upset about the nigerian medical school system so please go and see that part one if you've not seen it with that said let us continue with the rant another thing is pressure from family pressure from friends pressure if you're married or if you're in a serious relationship pressure from in-laws like there are some occasions that my in-laws would have and they would expect me to be physically present and when, when i try to explain to them that ah this is this so i can't be present to because they will be like are you the only medical student like god i can remember when a, a friend of my mom wanted to come and stay in my place in school for one conference or the other and that was the period I was writing my, my exams. And my mom was like, ah, sorry, oh, she's writing exam. Oh, if not, you would have, she would have accommodated you. And the woman was like, is she the first person to be in medical school? <laughs> like, it's annoying. It's a struggle. People just have this kind of stupid, unrealistic expectations of you. People just assume that you're being proud because you tell them that you don't have time. They really don't understand that for God's sake, I'm being real. I'm a medical student. There's so much I need to study. There's so much I need to know. There's so, and I need to balance all of this with my life as a human being, basically, generally as a human being. And then coupled with the struggles of this nonsense Nigerian educational system, it, it even makes it worse. So one of the struggles that I would say I've had is friends that my friends are not medical students. They ju don't just want to understand that it's tiring they just assume that i don't have that time i'm i'm, I'm proving i'll be forming big girl or forming busy it's annoying it's tiring and it's a struggle another struggle that i've had is hate from technicians god <laughs> have you ever had a hate like there's this there's this feeling no not feeling the english i'm looking for there's an english i'm looking for like there's a way that technicians treat medical students I really don't know about your school, but I know in Unical, the bias was there. I, I was an, as I, then I was an anatomy student, and I know how they treated medical students compared to how they were treating us that were the anatomy students. Like, now I mean, I'm a medical student in my new school, the treatment is still the same. They just come off, they, like they just harsh on you for no just reason. Other things that other students will take one hour to do, they will tell you, hey, you're a medical student, so you should finish it in 15 minutes. Are you for real? Like, are we not human beings? I'm talking with this, I'm like, <laughs> as I'm talking it, I'm not saying it out of a place of pain, but out of a place of experience and frustration because it's a struggle that I've had as a medical student. Lab technicians just come, they are, they are just rude on you for no just reason. Other students who come five minutes late, ten minutes late, they will allow them to enter. But when you come one minute late or even on time, as a medical student, they assume you why didn't you come 30 minutes ago? And because of that, you're late. Get out from this place. Oh my God. What is our crime as medical students? Who did we offend as medical students? It's tiring that the technicians have to hate on you and pick on you just because you're a medical student. If you've never experienced this as a medical student, I would say you're very lucky. But I've had first-hand experience with technicians. And it's frustrating. It's a struggle that I have. Another struggle is your fellow medic medics, eh? They just hate you. They just, they, they just hate you for no just reason. They just develop that competition with you. I remember when I was, when I was an anatomy student in Unica, I used to compare my results with that of medical student I used to be like ah see this one a medical student and I passed you like now looking back I'm like Jemima why did you ever do that why did you ever say that why did you ever imagine such now I'm on the receiving end I remember when our first in courses when our first in course results were pasted in college as a medical student now I'm talking as a medical student now some anatomy and physiology students in my school they were laughing like they were like mm, the medical students look at how they are failing look at how they like you see the mockery that these people gave to us it was not funny it was not funny at all like people just not people per se but fellow medics i assumed i asked like i mean you're a nurse 
you're a pharmacist, you're a medical lab scientist, you're a radiographer, you're, a, you're an anatomist, you're a physiologist. To me, I don't see it as anything. We are all medics. We are all studying to better the lives of the community. We are all you know, medical practitioners to be. So I don't see any reason why anybody should look at, look down on anybody or anybody should, you know, laugh at anybody or mock anybody. But my dear, I have to be real with you because it's something I have experienced myself. There is this hatred that, that people have for you because you're a medical student. Not just people, it's coming from people who are also medical practitioners to be. It's annoying. Even the, 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 the like when we used to have classes with anatomy and physiology students, you just see how the anatomy students would just run and go and pick all the front seats and keep seats for themselves. And only one or two or few medical students will be able to get seats in front. Like, why the hatred? That's a struggle that I have had as a medical student. Another struggle is a strikes, chineke. Like, as a medical student, you are struggling with ASU strike. You will struggle when lecturers are on strike. You will still struggle when doctors are on strike. Like, strike affects you. If you're a preclinical student, you're lucky you. Because when your school resumes, there's a way your school can rush up the semester and squeeze a six-month semester into two months or three months for you. But my dear, if you're a clinical student and you're being affected by strike, hmm, sorry for you because you see that four weeks posting that you're supposed to do? You will do it. They will not squeeze it into one week for you. They will not squeeze it into two weeks. Four weeks posting is four weeks posting. One month posting or eight weeks posting is eight weeks posting. So if you like, go for two years strike and come back. You will still come and meet that four weeks. So because of that, you find medical students that are supposed to study for six years. You will see them in school for eight years, nine years, ten years, eleven years. Now we say them fail. It's not that they fail, but it's just this nonsense Nigerian system of strikes. Now, if your school doesn't go on strike air, eh, you will now die out of stress no holidays like if they even want to give you holiday out of a whole three six five days in a year you can have like maybe just one week or two weeks three weeks holiday like in a whole year it is tiring i am tired i am sick i am frustrated and then not to even talk about the struggle with accreditation oh my god like mdcn can just seize accreditation from your school at any time at any moment at any period and that is it to you are now stranded you now end up spending time and wasting your time for months weeks for even years for some unfortunate students the struggle is real last but not the least is how expensive these materials are your school fees is unnecessarily more expensive than others your material textbooks that you need to buy lab codes word codes all these stethoscopes and all these materials that you need as a clinical student or practical manuals that you need in a preclinical arm. There are just so many things to spend money on. The list is endless. These are the struggles that I, I, I have experienced firsthand as a medical student. Why I did in this video, if there's anyone that I've forgotten to add, I will add it. And you too, if you've watched to this point and there's anyone that you feel I didn't add, you can comment on them below. With that said, I remain your girl Jemima. See you next week. Bye.